Yellowstone National Park WY. In another stunning display of geothermal power, the world's tallest active geyser, Steamboat Geyser, erupted today, sending columns of hot water more than 300 feet into the air. The eruption marks the latest event in a puzzling resurgence of activity that has captivated scientists and visitors alike. At around 0309 p.m., park sensors recorded the first seismic tremors beneath the Norris Geyser Basin, a known hotspot of Yellowstone's geothermal landscape. Within minutes, Steamboat Geyser thundered to life, shooting a geyser plume that glowed. Faintly in the moonlight, visible even from miles away, the eruption lasted just over an hour, followed by smaller steam vents hissing for hours afterward, this marks the 59th recorded eruption since Steamboat's surprising reactivation in 2018 after a period of dormancy. Before 2018, Steamboat had been sporadic and unpredictable, sometimes going decades between eruptions. Now, scientists are scrambling to understand what's fueling its sudden consistency. Geysers like Steamboat are powered by underground reservoirs of superheated water. When pressure builds to critical levels, it's released explosively, sending water and steam high into the atmosphere. But what makes Steamboat unique is not just its height, nearly twice as high as the more famous Old Faithful, but its unpredictability and power. Yellowstone National Park, today, crowds gathered around the famed Old Faithful Geyser erupted in cheers today as the iconic geothermal feature put on one of its most impressive displays in recent memory. Oh my God! Today, Old Faithful blasted hot water over 180 feet into the air thrilling onlookers from around the world. Park rangers reported that the eruption lasted nearly five minutes, slightly longer than the average and among the tallest seen this year. Mount Sakurajima is one of the most active volcanoes in the world, located in southern Japan, within the Kagoshima Prefecture. It is part of the Aira Caldera, a massive volcanic system formed around 22,000 years ago. The frequent eruptions of Sakurajima offer scientists a close-up look at how stratovolcanoes behave. Sakurajima sits above a subduction zone where the Philippine Sea Plate is being forced beneath the Eurasian Plate. As the oceanic plate sinks, it melts and forms magma. This magma rises through cracks in the Earth's crust and collects in magma, chambers beneath the volcano. When pressure builds up in the magma chamber due to gas and molten rock, it is eventually released through an eruption.